Looking to get started working in Wario, but the blueprint section is a little bit intimidating? I'm here to help. To start, what are blueprints? Taken straight from the Wario handbook, blueprints are a flexible and powerful visual scripting system, enabling anyone to create unique interactions for their VTubing setup, utilizing concepts and tools that are typically reserved for programmers. Put in simpler terms, blueprints are how you make things happen in Wario. Face and body tracking is handled via blueprints. It's everything for Wario. Taking a look at the blueprint screen, this is probably something similar to what you'll see after you first import your model and select your tracking. Starting on the left side, we have the blueprints list. The eye next to each blueprint on the list allows you to disable or enable this specific blueprint. On the bottom toolbar, we have the plus sign, which is used to add a blueprint. We have the minus sign, which is used to remove a blueprint from the scene. We have the overlapping squares, which allows you to duplicate the selected blueprint. The pencil and line, which lets you rename the selected blueprint. The three squares and plus sign, which lets you create a group for the blueprints. And then you have the ellipses, which shows options for formatting and exporting and importing different blueprints. And lastly, the square with the little side arrow, which lets you collapse the sidebar. To navigate the node editor, you can use the left mouse button to move around, the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. And if you click and drag with the right mouse button, you can select multiple nodes. With one or more nodes selected, you can use the left mouse button to drag them around. You can copy and paste with Control C or Control V, and you can use the delete button to delete all the selected nodes. Let's take a closer look at a node. Drag this into our node editor. You'll notice there are little circles on the left and right side of this node. The white dots are data connection points, where the green dots are flow connection points. Enter and exit will always be green, as they are the flow inputs and outputs and can only interact with each other. A flow connection determines the order in which the nodes are triggered going left to right. Most nodes will receive an input along with producing some output. Inputs are always on the left side and outputs on the right, so information from node to node will travel the same direction as reading. You cannot have a node input going into another node input or output going into another output, and you cannot connect a white circle to a green one and vice versa. Note that exit will also only ever connect to one thing. You cannot have an exit go to multiple nodes, but you can have an enter take multiple connections. Data inputs can only accept one connection, but data outputs can go to several connections. For white connections, you can hover the circle to see what type of information or the data type is being output or input. Now that we've covered the anatomy of a node, let's make a flow connection. We'll select a key to trigger for this node. So I'll select zero. And now we're gonna go over and look for toggle asset enabled and drag this into our editor. To make the connection, we're gonna have our exit go into the enter for this second node. After making the connection, we're gonna select our asset. I have several assets already input because of the assets that I use for my streaming setup are already in here. So for this example, we're gonna grab the Yippee asset. Now, when we press our selected key, this will enable or disable the selected asset, like so. This is a very basic tutorial just to familiarize yourself with how the blueprint section works. In future videos, I'll be going in depth on certain nodes and their use cases. So hopefully by the end of it all, you're comfortable and confident in your ability to create new blueprints for your VTubing setup. If this tutorial helped you, leave a like and let me know what else you'd like for me to cover in Wardo. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.